Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and we're coming to you live from the final of the Crossroads Classic, the fourth Crossroads Classic. Super excited to be here, everybody. How is how are you doing, Luke? I am doing awesome. I am uh, Luke Carrington, the Gold Squadron Paincast, and we are in the final match. We are just got off of watching Ryan Sandusky, um beat the other Kansas City finalist. Um, and it was a great match. And now we get to see Doug Howe flying the first um, CIS Swarm. I'm watching Diona drag the Paincast logo all over the screen. Um, so Doug Howe is, uh, is flying this uh, Trade Federation drone Sunfax Swarm. Um, really strong list. Absolutely. We talked about the uh, the top four match, how he, it annihilated a Katsu, just wiped it off the board in a single round of fire, and uh, there was a concession. Yeah, and in the two games that we uh, saw that Katsu, Mark Roberts Katsu matches uh, earlier in the earlier in the day, he uh, he was dominant in yep. those matches, and so uh, to think that you know that that list just got wrecked so hard as a. Uh, um, daunting for uh, Ryan Sanduszewski's list. So Ryan, again, for those of you who may have just been joining us, is uh, flying Cassian Andor with a pivot wing, Jake Farrell with crack shot, Braylon Stram, and Jan Ors with the Moldy Crow title. It's a really tough, beefy list that has lots of tools in the toolbox. Mm -hmm. And uh, just for anybody who may not be aware, Doug Howell coming very successful just recently was the champion of the St. Louis Grand Championship. Uh, so in the in the Doug Smittle, Alex, uh, Alex sorry, Middle. dang it, they're, they're one person. It's fine. Doug, the Doug Howe, Alex Smittle, uh, Bob Howe is the big papa in that house. Uh, very, very good X-Wing family and uh, doing great work. So you're saying that, that Doug, uh, by winning that Grand Championship that, you know, He's just a he's just a regular X-wing player. He's not very good. He's you know, <laughs> no. He's a, he's super talented. Both of these players are super talented. So I'm excited to see um, kind of how Ryan makes this initial approach into the swarm, and then I'm excited on Doug's side to see what Doug decides is the most uh, most important to, thing to remove from Ryan's list. Now, Ryan is an experienced Separatist player. He flew Separatists throughout the World Championships and even recently. So he knows exactly what these droids can do. He's very familiar with the tactics that can be used. And uh, we're, we're going to see some, uh, some very careful play from Ryan. Looking at the obstacle setup, I think it's important to note that the area where Ryan is at the moment, this square right here, is the safest place, right? So the rocks being placed mostly on one side as well as the debris, those are places where those droids can perch um, and, and use those grappling struts to their advantage. I wouldn't be surprised if Ryan wants to stay in that bottom left-hand corner as much as possible. And, and remember that that's different than how you would fight like a tie, like a tie swarm or something yeah. else where you actually want to be over in this range and yep. make him come through here to break up the swarm itself. Absolutely. And uh, don't forget to participate in our Choose Your Champion poll. Choose one or two in the chat for who do you think is going to take this game, who will be the Crossroads, Ch uh, Crossroads Classic 4 champion. Uh, very easy again to participate. Don't forget, guys. It just—it's a lot, a lot of fun. Participate. Be a part of history, because that that poll is up there forever. All right. So it look. Um, so in chat, they were talking about the uh, paint scheme on Doug House on Doug House ships. Yeah. Um, it is really cool. It's almost like um, it's a yellow that fades into kind of a really dark, um, almost brown red. And so, uh, and it's just. It's really simple, really clean, but when you're looking at it from the table, it's really effective. It looks very mm -hmm. nice. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure he painted those himself, too. You know what? He, he has a lot of confidence. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, if you are, um, if you're Doug, if you're Doug and you're approaching Ryan, uh, we just kind of talked through what Ryan's initial strategy might be. Um, if you're Doug, what are you, what are you thinking about taking off of the board? What is your first like? What are you trying to alpha off the board initially? Uh, well, the the separatists, 
See, this this formation reminds me so much of what we saw from Paul Heaver this uh, this last weekend. Um, the Separatists are very much a we will take what you give us because it costs us nothing. Right. Right. We're just shooting. Like we're just whatever's in front of us. We're gonna try to mow it down. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, it looks like there's a mistake here. Boop. 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 Whoops. There you go. Two more. Two more on Braylon. Two. Two more on Braylon. Braylon only has a, no. That's Cassian. That's Cassian. Braylon. There we go. Fixed. Sorry, I was trying to reset the uh, the overlay without having to reset the colors. I ruined it. Ruined. Ruined. Well, that's the way it goes. I guess the stream is over. Thanks, guys. Bye. -bye. Packing it up. Gold, Gold squadron, squadron out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yep, and here's here's Ryan Bear rolling to the left saying, I don't want to play in those rocks. We're going to stay down here at the bottom left. Potentially uh, Cassian sitting up here to bait, right? Because yeah. Cassian has that pivot wing title. He can spin around whenever he wants. Yep. Just, uh, nope, never mind. Mm -hmm. like, mm, no, we're good. And the, uh, excuse me, the grappling struts, one important thing about those, if I'm not mistaken, let me go ahead and just double check something before I say something wrong. I'm pretty sure, but let me. Uh, I need the other side. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so let's keep talking about this. Um, so Doug coming up inside, kind of setting up. Um, we'll see. We'll see how much uh, with these droids. The droids have a really small turn radius, so we'll see if he actually comes in and actually sets up this joust here, coming in this way. Um, it feels like. Maybe he's leaning towards that. I don't know where Sunfac's going. I, I have Sunfac is an enigma to me. I, I look at <laughs> Sunfac and I'm like, yeah, he can go wherever he wants. So, yep. uh, so what? Uh, the point I wanted to make here is, Doug has an interesting choice here. He can't necessarily zoom forward right now with uh, with green because of the the rock. Now you might be saying, well, it has grappling struts. What's the big deal? So. The text on the grappling struts really matters because if he were to just blow through the rock, the grappling struts do not engage. Okay. You have to actually land on it. And that's because of the, the and part of here. It says at the end here of the front when they're, when they're closed, it says, and if there are one or fewer other friendly ships at range zero of the obstacle, if you just blow through it, there's nobody at range zero of the obstacle right. anymore. So it never flips. So if he went through it... He would be rolling for damage. Correct. Right. He has to go short, land on it, and then, then come off. Right. Which requires a whole turn. Right. Exactly. So we might actually end up getting some uh, some hard turns. I could see, like, if Doug doesn't think that Ryan is going to commit up to the top of the board, we could see something in either direction, like some hard turns. And barrel rolling back this way. You start with the back line, of course, uh, and then you just continue making your way down this way. So it looks like we are having two straights. Two straights, all right. Or we just land on the rock and live with it. That's fine. So struts on that. Roger, roger. We have, yep, so just continue on. Can you have? Can you be strutted on the same obstacle? Yep, you can have up to two. I think. Awesome. Yeah. One or fewer. Yep. yep. Me questioning Doug and his ability. He's in the top table. <laughs> Who am I to question the champion? I mean, people make mistakes. Sorry to ask a question, and it also could be a an informative question. It's like you're answering a, answer, asking a question just so that I can. It's like you serve it up and I smack it out there, smack that information. That's what makes us such a good team. That's right. My ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. We we we're here to teach and to learn and to have some fun. TFLJ, these ships can't joust. I was told Vulture's only fortress. Nay, good sir. Nay. What? I, I I we're this is our second final in uh in two weeks with Vultures and none of them fortress. 
neither of them did. So MG Rockwell says, has a has a question about your ruling. Yeah. He says, can you fly through it and grapple if another droid is already on the rock if then? If one other droid is, then yes. So there you go. That if droid just gives you a high five on the way right. by. Woo. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> I got you, fam. Yep. I, I'm holding down this rock, man. It's, it's like that vulture's pushing it out of the way. Right. <laughs> right. Boop. Cassian being super aggressive here. It's time to get shots. I mean, he has firepower in his list. He can just start annihilating. If you get enough vultures off, the effectiveness of the swarm just goes way down. Right. <laughs> People yelling honorable joust in the chat. And we're going to go ahead and close down the poll. 43 of you think that uh, Ryan Staniszewski has the power to do this. Now, I really want to see the range check from Braylon. Like, does the back line have Braylon? If they do, Braylon might be annihilated this turn. Right, right. But if, if he has uh, range controlled it the way he probably wants and just has the front line, uh, th this turn goes to Ryan. And then Jake decides to boost. And then with that boost, he gets a stress, and he's giving Cassian a focus so that all of his ships have at least some sort of uh, modifier. Jan popping right behind Braylon. Ready to pump up the shot. Pump up the jam. Pumping, Pumping it up. And Braylon, or the Hawk, is just a little bit outside. Hi, Sun Fact. Ryan, Ryan says to Doug, Hi, Sun Fact. Please don't bully me. Not yet. <laughs> Waiting just a little bit. Sun Fact being very patient. Taking the tractor beam. Remember, he must rotate that arc if he takes the tractor. It is not optional. Might be able to reach there. Range 3. Into Cassian and Braylon. Going to go ahead and take it on to Cassian. Take Excuse me, Braylon. into Braylon. The B-Wing. Oh, to... Safe after spending the focus. Went for Jan as she is the utility in the list and can help uh, Ryan shotgun some of these vultures off the board. Jake, range two into black. That's that forward left vulture whiffs. Not a good start. Yeah, not a good start at all. You want to try to get rid of some of those calculate tokens. Braylon looks like he successfully may have gotten out of the back line. We'll see when it comes for his defense. But going at black again, hit, hit, crit. Spends calculate, hit, crit. Direct. Direct first one leaves oh, the table. First one's off the table. That's that is uh, a really good start for Ryan. That's yeah, it is. <laughs> Just popping stuff. Cassian's up next. It's gonna get pumped up by Jan. Yep. Four dice. So four dice at range at range two. Going into blue. <laughs> Only two there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, dice down. And takes one onto the blue vulture. Everyone did get to keep their focus for defense, though. That could end up helping. Everyone yep. going at Cassian. Oh, man. Two. Safe. Safe. So, Doug being an excellent, uh, excellent player, uh, showing us, um, showing us who is shot with mm. these little tokens. Yep. So orange is next. 
No damage yet. Takes two. two. shields. All right. And then the last one. Taking a shield. So, so uh, Doug traded a a whole vulture for three shields on Cassian. Not a great trade. I think uh, Ryan got ahead in that one. Yep, because he also did did a plink of damage. Like it's it's technically three for three for four. You're like, oh, that's not too bad. But you got a ship gone. Right. Uh, so good good turn for Ryan. Able to hold on to all of his hull. And uh, Braylon, his most powerful piece, still up. Now, Sunfac is coming around the mountain. Right. So, yeah, so we'll see where Sunfac actually winds up being. Um, and, and if Ryan decides, if Ryan decides to actually uh, to come and be aggressive towards him, so Compu Dive, Compu Dive with a uh, um, with a correction. So feel free to uh, read the chat about the grappling struts. Mm -hmm. I may have gotten that wrong about the overlap. So, basically, read the card. Do what the card says. <laughs> I mean, that's always. Right. So, so anyway, uh, go, going back into what we were saying here, the... Um, so, what are Sunfax's options at this point here? Oh. So, Sun, uh, so, so if, is Sunfax going to just come in and just be, like, hyper-aggressive and just start bullying around over this way? So, Doug's going to be tempted to do that. You, 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 like three hard boosts, might be calling a boost, but like being able to three tractor hard and then yourself. tractor beam yourself Push. forward. Right. But, uh, but Jan most like, I, I could see because her, her arc, is it pointed to the left? Because the arc's pointed to the left, I could totally see her one banking towards Sunfac and threatening there. Um, now the tractor would probably, if, would probably be in range with the three hard. So actually, maybe not. We could see a one heart from Braylon. Like I wouldn't be surprised to see the ships turn on to Sunfac. Is my point right? Uh, because he can be squishy with only four hull. Doug just putting Sunfac wherever he wants. That's fine. <laughs> All right, moving forward, barrel rolling back. We might see the split of the vulture swarm here. So for for Doug, optimally, what he want? I mean, if he was gonna get a perfect uh, a perfect round, he would be moving his moving his uh, droids up to a place where Sunfat could get Braylon, push Braylon into uh, get Braylon tractored, yep. and uh, then just do as much damage as possible. Hopefully, take Braylon off the board. That's what Doug wants. Oh yeah, Braylon I mean, off the board is a, is a much easier game for uh, these these separatist droids. He's such a consistent piece in in the squad. It just being able to take it off the board is absolutely huge for Doug. We'll see what happens. Got some barrel roll. Calculate rotation here from the grappled on vulture. Can only come off that rock by doing a two straight maneuver. Any turn maneuvers just rotates him 90 degrees in either direction. Any other maneuver other than like a, like a straight or a bank just keeps him right where he is. And once again, this is the... Uh, um, <coughs> This is the finals of the Crossroad Classic in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, if you live in the Midwest in any capacity next year, you should definitely show up and try and get here. Mm-hmm. And coming up, uh, the Prime Championship season is uh, is on the uh, right around the corner. So again, if you're in the Midwest, 
Family Time Games will most likely be hosting a Prime Championship. Uh, past times, the Home of Gold Squadron will be holding one for sure. And uh, just come out. Yep. Shout out to Family Time Games for hosting us. Mm -hmm. They have a they have a great space. Thank you, uh, thank you to them for uh, being great, being great hosts, giving us a good internet connection, all that yeah. stuff. <clears throat> and those drones have their arc spread out. Very very smart. Yep. Cassian with a Cassian with a bump. Looks like he has what three three uh, two ships that are or three ships that are, can shoot him. Barrel roll here from Jake, passing the focus to Cassian with the ability and boosting out of the arc. Very smart play there by Jake. That's great. One forward to victory. One. F it's the rebel. It is the way. It is the way. <laughs> I'm sure that means that Jan is probably doing the same thing. We'll get the barrel roll here in order to activate the stress, and that moves him farther away from Sunfac in order not to be touched by that tractor. But it puts him in all five arcs of those droids. It does. So might be just four if it works out the way he wants it to. Hopefully. <laughs> if last turn was any indication. One straight. Has another focus. Sunfac. <laughs> Ryan says, this is where it gets real. That's this is right. where the fun begins. Takes a tractor, points it forward. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be a five-die shot into Jan. He's going to pass that tractor. Oof. Going to stay right there. Range one plus his ability. Five dice in the bullseye. Here what? comes Sunfac. Three. One die. Spends it for two. Shields down on Jan. Not quite. It took half the fight. crack shot. Crack oh. shot. So fuel, fuel leak. leak. <laughs> All right. Decisions, decisions. Can he pop a couple drones here? Starting with Jan. Range two and orange. Bends for Hincrit. Still takes a crit on Orange. Console fire. Orange down to two. Blue is also at two at this moment in time. Braylon. Might be range one. <laughs> Judge call here. A couple of people asking in the chat about the tractor movement. The movement of a tractor chip is optional. Right. Holding down the ships. We'll see if we have range one here. Range, range two. two. Looking at his options now that he knows that it's range two. Do the nubs count? No, nubs don't count. Can't. Uh, going against orange with a powered up Jan shot. Leaves it with three. Use the it, saving the focus for Debating defense. that. He could re roll. He's going for going it. Going for it. Choosing violence. He's not going to bother spending the calculate and just going to remove the ship from the board. Yep. Jake no shot. Cassian's up. We'll have a range one shot in the blue. Only has two hull. Could take it off the board. Has a focus. And that could do it. Hit, 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 crit. One blank. Gets him out. Got oh. the natties, though. Direct, direct, direct oh, hit, and he's down. Oh man, blue down. Oh, two directs in a row to kill <laughs> these. Jeez. <laughs> 
So, uh, checking rain, Ar Archon, purple to Jan. That was uh, pretty unlucky. Pretty unlucky for Doug there. Two different, uh, two, two rounds, two different crits. Direct hits on both. <laughs> Brew nasty. It seems crazy that Ryan had to play against Doug in both the top four <laughs> in the final game. And takes one there. Another shot into Cassian. Red, range one into Cassian. Three. Hit it, crit seems good. Natty's. Oh. One crit, hole breach. Hole breach again on Cassian. Had it happen last game too. All hits, they're crits now. <laughs> Lou the Lunatic is trying to, to alter the deal. Uh, Lou, sorry, the deal's set, yeah, man. Yeah, we no we don't got – I mean, you can do what you can do. If we can't make it, then, you know, <laughs> like like you don't understand how big of a deal this uh, this pickle sandwich is to deal. <laughs> he really, really doesn't want to do it. <laughs> like – like I had to bully Dion into even like putting this up on stream. Yep. So so I mean, this is probably your only chance that this is gonna happen. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Well, let's get back to the game. <laughs> Ryan up sixty to fifty-seven. He's been able to drop three half of the vulture swarm. Um, two rounds of shooting. Two rounds of shooting. Still has all of his forces left. Does have half down on Jan and Cassian. There is a problem here for Ryan, though, a potential problem. Let's say he continues at the same rate, which is not possible, by the right, way. Right, right. He's not going to clear three vultures again next turn. Oh, man. He'll maybe get one. Um, but if you end up in a in an end game with, like, Braylon only versus Sunfac, Sunfac wins. For sure. Right? And even if you have two ships, that's still – that is a real game versus Sun. So we'll see how things end up uh, – end up going we uh yeah and right now sunfac is unopposed he is not he is literally no one is even close to nope touching sunfac for a while can't so. touch this um so yeah even though he's even though he's uh getting those droids down maybe uh Maybe Doug still Doug still has plenty of firepower left in his list. He does. Jake will probably be coming around the mountain with a two turn and a boost in this way. Uh, might not have a shot, but gets ready gets him ready for the next turn. Oops, our overlay thing got moved over. Actually, that worked out better than I thought. <laughs> uh, Cassian has the option to spin around here. End up going in that direction. We could also remove the stress with Cassian. Or and, Braylon. Uh, excuse me. I keep mixing their names up. They both end with N. That's what's messing me up. Um, so does Dion. Do you get those mixed up? I do. I do all the time. We have an option to try to turn around or we continue going uh, one bank to try to meet with these vultures. Uh, Jan is, is probably just going to keep getting hunted by, by Sun. Yeah, you can't let Braylon continue to shoot roll four or five dice at, at you for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, Cassian removing the stress off of Jake. Oh, okay. I like it for the one hard. Marking so that the, uh, the vulture droid can uh, get in there and do a two hard. Oh, Talon roll. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. That'll give him a stress. Ruben McLeod just subscribed to our YouTube channel. Ruben, yeah. thank you so much. That's whenever you see the, the droid army, that's the YouTube oh. channel. Thank you so much, Ruben. Appreciate you. He probably can't hear us. He's probably on YouTube watching. He's like, oh, I love Gold Squad. It's so cool. I'm in. And he'll never know that we, that well, we knew. He will once this video gets uploaded. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ruben. In 2020. <laughs> Um, sorry, Lou, you're out, man. No, no, not going to happen. I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't like painted chips that much. 
Um, yeah, back to nine actual. Yep, it's kind of saying what we were saying. You got to deal with Sunfax sooner, sooner rather than later. Yep, a hard two turn here. No rotate from Cassian. I think at this point it's just about trying to minimize the number of shots going into Cassian. Takes the focus. Yeah, with that hole breach, he, he doesn't want to take. He doesn't want to be shot at any more than he has to. Ooh, one hard. Boost will get him a shot, maybe even the bullseye on. You gotta remember that he has crack shot. So Braylon, one bank. I think the goal here is probably to try to clear red to yeah. avoid at least one shot going to the Braylon. Absolutely. Fails the barrel roll going to the right to get the stress. Jan, probably just bumping here. Yep. Which is going to probably make it a bad day for uh, from Sunfac. Yep, because Sunfac can still use the pinpoint tractor array even while overlapping another ship. Seems good. Weaver CT, thank you so much for gifting 10 subs. Oh, here we go. So Doug turns his uh, turns his arc. Doesn't doesn't matter too much. Oh, does matter for him because it does gonna, matter because he has, he has to. to he has to be off the thing to shoot. So uh -huh. gives the tractor to Jan. Yep, she won't move. He has to move the turret. That's why. Right, right. Four on one. Hit crit. And he doesn't. And Jan is off the board. Super dead. Jan off the board. <laughs> Had no more foci. So that's a, a really um, a really pivotal support piece that Ryan's been using in a lot of games oh, yeah. effect that is now not available. Two hits. One evade. Does it range one? Did he roll three dice? Um, I think so. There's only two there. There is only two there. Not sure. Uh, I'm gonna go just double check. All right. So while while we have while Dion's going to check that, um, it looks like uh, looks like crack shot was spent on Jake. So, uh, <clears throat> flipping over that charge token. Yeah. Yep, they said that they rolled three dice, so it must have just been just off cam in the box. Or they, they grabbed it out real quick. Right. So, that was one dice into right. red. Into red. Reroll with Braylon. Spend for the focus for two. Doug rolls, gets one. Still lives. Still. The boy who lived. Roger, Roger. Nope, nope, he's dead. He's dead. He's he's dead? Yep. Did we... Three were rolled, one were blank. He All pulled right, two. Red. Red, Doug is saying Red is dead. All right, Red is dead. This is uh, Cassian. This is Holbreach. Another sh a structural structural damage. damage on the Cassian. This is uh, reminding me of last game. Yeah, he had structural and hole breach. Maybe he should shuffle his damage deck. <laughs> shuffle better. We in the final. All right. So two damage on Braylon. Two hour final. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, uh, Ryan, saying uh, at the table, I, I'm not uh, happy that we're down to the same number of ships. No, that's not that's not how this is supposed to go for Ryan. Uh, right now, honestly, the points. Uh, I know it looks close, but I think Dog has a has a it's distinct advantage with Sunfac there. I mean, because Sunfac is all the way down here, yep. and there is no good way for Ryan to even remotely press Sunfac at all. Like one of the options is to 
clear the stress off of Braylon. You get Braylon turned around and you pressure with both Jake and Braylon. Um, but I feel that Doug knows that that's coming. Right. So I, I, I think the, the advantage right now goes to Doug. <laughs> I'm, but, cu I'm curious. You know, I want to repoll the audience. Okay, sounds All good. Right, repoll. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? Well, well one of the things uh, we are seeing though is Ryan is consistently moving, removing one droid per turn. Yeah. So if we can, uh, so Braylon, if Braylon and Jake um, can stay alive for any reasonable amount of time to take off the rest of those droids, then you know maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I, I'm not sure what the matchup between Sunfac and Bray or Sunfac versus Braylon and Jake look like. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I do. I'll grappling strut. Okay. And then he's going to two talon with that uh with that droid. All right, going to the right. That will Looks maybe like even clip. That'll fit. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered, but right. Cassian probably getting out of dodge here, doing his best to stay alive yep. with his uh. Two hole left. He did clear the stress from Braylon. It's important to note. Right. We'll, we'll see what Braylon chooses to do. Cassian rotating here. Ryan saying, I don't care. You, you just won the Aces High pod? No, no. Uh, oh, you didn't. I won it. Oh, you won all of the aces high. He is the Gordon Berg, ace of aces. I am the side event champion at Crossroads Classic. <laughs> Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Berg, the side event champion at Crossroads Classic. I just would think that all the chat should know how awesome Gordon Berg is at aces high. If I, you, if you brought this up instead if, of me. If you, <laughs> see, if you see him playing aces high, you should be terrified. Run in fear. Yeah, or fly away in fear. Oh, uh, oh, oh, look, no one cares. Okay, all right, so. Uh, uh, <laughs> Gordon, uh, Epionic, Gordon is still the worst. It's totally the worst. <laughs> all right, so we did get the turn in from Jake and the K turn from Braylon. Ryan is taking his stand now, trying to get him some sun, and there is Sunfac facing down the enemy, saying, let's play, baby. Yep. And, and they're going to, too. All right. There's the rotate going to the front. Looks like he has room for, for a boost. Oh, my goodness. Plenty of room. This is massive cojones right here. Yeah. Because there's nowhere to tractor anybody. I guess you could tractor Jake onto the rock, um, but you're still taking a four-die shot to the face with Braylon. Right. A reliable four-die yeah, shot. So, like, you're getting shot either here or here. Uh, and they're all shooting before the droids are, so they I mean, are. They're they not are. coming off the table. You might be he, well. Actually, Doug might be able to. You tractor Jake out, and you fire at Braylon to try to clear him off the table. Yep. So he's moving Jake. Try to. There's so he moves the tractor, tractor on the Jake. Jake. Yeah. The saddest Jake here takes the damage. So Doug saying that putting Jake on the rock is hopefully will keep Sunfac alive for another turn. Two. Oh, three Only dice. three because it's out the side. Reroll. But uh, hit two, crit. Hit crit with a, a hull breach and a structural damage. Yep. And uh, Cassian Andor Gone. is now off the table. Got him. All right, Braylon. Braylon needs to get mad here. Yeah, if Braylon, uh, Braylon has the opportunity to uh, to wipe Sunfac here. He does have an evade token. He needs some lucky crits in there, but he can make it hurt for sure. Right. Braylon has only lost a couple shields. Here we go. Oh, there's a crit in there. There's some rerolls. Two oh, crits. hit crit crit. What wasn't? Why do you take away? One? Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, I gotta go. Over yeah, I don't understand why. Right? We there was clearly a crit in there, right? There's clearly two crits in there, but he said safe. Pull. Are you gonna go see what happened? Right. Okay, we're gonna go see what happened from that.
Okay. So, okay, so we are putting one crit on Sunfac. And uh, that is a fuel leak. So um, they did forget to put the damage card down. It is it is a crit. It is fuel leak. All right. So. Uh, so where was I? <laughs> so Sunfac. What did you say it was? Uh, fuel leak. Fuel leak. Yep. Okay. So as Ryan was saying. I can kill all the drones I want, but if I don't deal with Sunfac, I'm going to lose in the end game. Right. So he knows what the he knows what it is. Ryan is did he just now con conceding? He game. just conceded. He said, "There's nothing I can do at this point. I'm done." All so. right. Well, congratulations to Doug Howe. It moves continuing from <laughs> Crossroads champion. Wait, <laughs> no, no, wait, no. It's the other one. <laughs> so Alex Middle, practically his brother, uh, won last year. Crossroads three uh, goes to uh, sorry, excuse me. Crossroads four going to Doug Howe stays in the same household. Kansas City continuing C to be the best at Crossroads Classic That's for a right. second year in the row. Now I do need to address something there. There is somebody in the chat who said something like, how how do you miss stuff like that? Well, we're doing a lot of stuff, guys. There's a lot of this. Not, not, it was not to us. Oh. To the players. Oh, to the players? Right. I, I do, They're I, doing I got, more stuff than we are. I got to call them out. I got, I'm not going to say a name, but I have, to, I have to call out that behavior because I promise you, if I had a camera on your game, I could find a mistake you made. Well, I, pro well, I promise you I will find you and I will find your mistakes. <laughs> well, well, beyond that, Dion, you got to remember this, right? It's not, it's not just you finding the mistake, right? right. You have a hundred other people right. intensely looking at mistakes. Exactly. So, so I mean, it happens, guys. This yeah. is, and this is a game, and we're having fun. And when the pressure's on, when you're on the final table, yep. you know, you're thinking of, you're think, Ryan is thinking two moves ahead. Right. Absolutely. He's thinking, okay, I have to do this, and now I have to move my guys here, and if mm -hmm. I don't get this, I have to do this, right? Yeah. And when I walked over there, he's like, oh, I thought it was a focus. Like, no, it was a crit. Right, and if you uh, it takes that right, and if and I mean sometimes you're just rolling because you're like, oh, okay, this is not working for me, right? Right, exactly. Right. <laughs> so uh, congratulations to Doug Howe. Thank you guys. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Absolutely, we need Ryan some gumbos in the chat for Doug Howe. Yeah, the Crossroads Four champion. You know what? Being R Ryan Sanduski being runner up to the Crossroads champ that's an, that's no small feat either. That's so, right. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan Ryan Stanizuski. Uh runner up. Gold Squadron podcast host and just a nice guy. He's all right. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, let's finish strong here with some giveaways. Here, uh, Ryan needed some energy, so how about we give away some Take My Energy There you go. Tokens. Show those all off. Right, so let's do this first. All right, so we got some Take My Energy tokens. So this says Take My Energy. The other side says Energy Received. Right? <laughs> Pretty funny. All right. We're so doing... Let's see. We got a few of these. Yeah. Let's do two sets. How many we got? Let's see. We got three. Yeah, let's do let's do let's do three sets of three. Three sets of three. Three sets of All three. Right. I'm feeling generous. All right. So do we want to start with that? Yeah. All right. Let's start with that, and then we'll do some cards. Yeah, absolutely. So, energy tokens. Remember, if you are the winner, type exclamation point win in the chat. Make sure to fully fill out that form. Estimate for shipping things is going to be around eight to ten weeks. Plus holiday delay. It's going to be a little bit. Thanks for your patience. Right. I appreciate it. It's right. free stuff. Right. It's free. So when you send me an email about your free stuff, I get mad. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, really? Really? You won it yesterday and you're emailing me? Hey, I've got my stuff. Come on. I'm actually uh, joking. Catherine Nixera, uh, Doug Howe won uh, the game. Yeah. Uh, Ryan conceded just now. So. He did. He did. Yeah. With a full 75 minutes normal game time left on the clock. Right. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got three sets of these three tokens. Let's do it. The first one, three, two, one, roll it. Uh, Die Grizz 75. Thank you so much. Make sure you type exclamation point win in the chat so that you uh, can fill out the form. The next one, another set of those. Three, two, one. The energy tokens go to Potato3225. Following since May 15, 2018. Thanks so much for following us for that long. That's oh, awesome. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Next one. Three, two, one. Roll it. Compudiver. The Compudiver. Not to be confused with the Compu Swimmer. That right. Was, that was dumb. All right. Um, <laughs> do we want to do, do these? Uh, no. No. no let's, do, let's do cards. Let's do those. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, Sunvac, right? Yeah, we got to do a sun. All right. Well, let's do. Do we just want to do one of each? We have a bunch. Yeah, yeah. Let's All do right. one of each. All right. So we're gonna do one of each. I'm just gonna pull them out really quick. Give me just a second. Oh, ooh, do here. Pull out two. Pull out two sets. We're gonna do. We're gonna give away one of each. Give away one of each, and then, and then we're gonna give away a, a full set. set. Okay. Congratulations! It stay. It stays in the same house. It's like now. No. This time you get to be the champion. <laughs> no problem. All right. So, this is the full set. Um, we're just gonna go through them really quick. So, for those of you who haven't seen them, these are all art done by Mark Moriarty. So we have Ahsoka and we have Ketsu. We have Sunfak, Ray, uh, Varen Bonreg, AP5, and Soon Tier Fell. All right, so we're gonna give one of each of these away, and then we're gonna give away a full set. That's right. So we'll, we'll go. We're gonna speed give away here. You ready? Right. Yeah, 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 let's go. So, so that we can clean up. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So this is for the Ahsoka. Ahsoka goes to Talos Fetch. Talos Fetch. Talos Fetch. All right. Ketsu goes to. Sub Hedgehog. Sunfak goes to Eldrath 27. Ray goes to Catnip. Baron Von Reg goes to W Pierce 17. AP5 goes to Inquisitor Huge. Huge! The Soon Tier Fell goes to Generous. Then we have a set of these, I believe, are. Ion tokens. Ion. Ion tokens from uh, Recon Tokens. So make sure you follow Recon Specialist on Twitch TV and on Facebook. That's right. Three, two, one. Grizzle 971. And we have a set of Cloak Tokens as well. Cloak. Three, two, one. Get it. Surak 2014. And then last but not least, the full, the set, full set, the Crossroads Classic full set. And the winner is Heimdall Oof. Oof. <laughs> Congratulations, been following since January 7, 2017. So now you just get to hand your brother the trophy. I mean, we're gonna put, our two trophies next. put them next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to watch that pain cast every Monday and Thursday with Luke Carrington. We got the podcast on Tuesdays. We League Night on Wednesdays, except for coming up soon. We have a holiday break and all that stuff <laughs> like that. But uh, next event is LVO. We got a lot of stuff. Echo Base tonight. Echo Base is tonight starting at 830 Central. Thank you so much for all of your help. We love you all. You want to say it? Do you uh, want to say it? Yeah. I'm Luke Do Carrington, and I am Gold Squadron, and we are out. Boom. Gold ah. squadron. Ow. See you guys.